All right, so we uh, have um, a demonstrated that we have uh, successfully com a uh, communication between the client, Rea React client, and the Java server. We're passing a, a user with a username and password. Uh, what we'd like to be able to do now is, now that we have the, the, the user, maybe we, we can store it in a database. So I believe we have a database for uh, for this. Uh, we can we can start the MySQL workbench and see if we have uh, a database set up for this. I believe we're we're using the uh, CS4550 SP20, and it has been configured on the Java server. The Java server, if we look at the at the um, uh, repository, not the repository, the application properties, we see that indeed we we are connecting to that to that database, right? So, so we are configured to talk to that particular database in, in MySQL. Uh, let's let's now map. Uh, we would like to be able to do is map that user object that we're that we're receiving uh, from the client. We want to save it into a database. So that's easy, right? What we need to do the first thing that we need to do is to configure this uh, this user object uh, so that it would be an entity that we can save uh, using the JPA library. Uh, so to do that, we're going to uh, annotate this as an entity. We'll annotate it as a. We'll override the uh, name of the table that we want. Uh, we'll say that we want the name of the table to be users. Uh, we also need a primary key. So let's uh, declare here a uh, integer that will represent our primary key. It will have to annotate it with the ID annotation, and we're going to tell uh, the database that we're going to delegate the uh, the creation of of this um, of the value for this, right? Uh, we, and finally, we need to make sure that we have the setters and getters for our brand new field. So we'll use the code generator to create the setter and getter for our brand new ID. All right, there we have it. So we have the the, the user object, uh, the um, which 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 now the the, the last thing to uh, uh, that we would need to finally map this to. Uh, to, to a table in the databases, we need a um, a, a repository. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, create a repository. So in the repositories, we'll create a user repository. So this will be a user repository, right? And uh, actually, it's not a class; it's actually an interface. So this will be interface, and we're going to extend a uh, CRUD repository that already. Uh, um, implements a lot of the functionality that, that we need, right? So here we're going to take the, um, we're going to configure the repository so that we we're going to be storing uh, user instances, and the and the primary key is an integer. All right, so there we have it. So we have the repository, uh, which is going to provide us uh, some low-level uh, generic functions to be able to save uh, data into into the database.